I wouldn't give it to you. Even if you beat me to death over it. Right? Well, he's your, she's your daughter, so... Gotta sample it nice and slow, real... <laughs> slow. Look, you got it all wrong again, boss. I'm over here. That's... That there's a pillar. <laughs> Let me give it a try. Hey, why is this sour? Sour? How dare you? This really is sour. But why? It aged well at first, but... You have to take into account how it was stored. Our storage methods back then were not as sophisticated as today, and after so long, there would always be a batch or two that went bad. Went bad? I would planned to give this out at the wedding reception and ask that everyone drink their fill. I thought... I thought I might share a glass with this with her. I... Oh. You're drunk, Arthaz. That's enough for now. I'm not drunk, I'm... I'm not. Come on, give me that bottle. Girl takes a slightly sour aged spirit from Arctaz's hand. She turns off her head and without the slightest bit of hesitation, raises the bottle and pours the liquid straight down her throat, taking in its varied astringent notes. Ah. Ah, and that's the prob that's that problem solved. It was a little off, but overall, it's still a pretty good drink. If you want my expert opinion? I'd say you could really grow that to love that aftertaste. Young lady, you have you gone mad? Quick, somebody call a doctor. Nah, I'm good. You're good? It's long since gone bad and you still drink it? Have you ever heard of food poisoning? I'm fine, really. I've eaten rotten bread and drank foul water out of the gutter before. Compared to that, what's this drink gonna do to me? Huh? Out of the gutter? Why would you even do such things, girl? I'd rather not talk about those times right now. But anyway... What I'm trying to say is, you might not really get what the whole deal is here, but I can feel it out. You said this drink was pretty important, right, boss? I'll take that as a yes. Something as rare as that getting spilled away just because it's gone a little off sure would be sad, don't you think? Listen. Oh, come on. Don't give me that face. It could work for you if you were more handsome, but you'd have to lose the beard first. <laughs> hey, why aren't we drinking? Whatever boozy treasures are left, serve them up. Today, the three of us, we're drinking till we drop. Oh. You're sure? I'm sure. Hmm. This might be an issue. You know, lad, you usually come full of ideas, but you're right mute here. Can't blame me for that one, boss. When a lord like you suddenly wants to throw a banquet... Just freeing up the space for it took our men a no small amount of effort. Uh, it's simply for hosting two foreign dignitaries. Although it's a bit off for that purpose. <sighs> I understand. We've invited a chef from a local restaurant to come and cook. And thanks us and the locals being so buddy-buddy, we've also managed to get some top quality ingredients to go with. We're still stumped on drinks, though. These three bottles of Snow Realm Spring 1095 were the best we can get from the Harab... Hereabouts? Hereabouts? I don't know, weird. Uh, what a weird word. This one, mouth feels pleasant enough, and the aroma is suitably complex. However, layering's a little bit weak, and the uh, acridity is somewhat unbalanced. It would be fine to offer someone that rank as me, the same rank as me, but our... Our guests for this banquet is far from appropriate. It's only at times like these that uh, your nobility shows, my lord. Well, I do have to work rather hard at it. Enough already. We all know that you're just a boozer who gave yourself the excuse that you're handling the lords and ladies. All right, enough lip out of you. Go back and help out or something. I'll think over everything else that's left. Boss, we've been here for a whole month and we've seen that the cherries... They really love their Saintus, and that's Ancio's guy, too. I know you keep saying we're just here as tourists. What do you think I'm up to? If I really want to do something, I would just tell you to get that ambush sorted before all this. That's what you said, sir. Sure, but don't expect the boys to come save your hide if something comes up. Oh, don't be a worry, Wart. It's bad luck. My mouse stopped working? If I had known sooner, I would have asked the missus to pack this, the ra that rare red wine 
Red, red wine. That's a weird three words <laughs> we've got in the house. <sighs> oh. Enciods! Whatever are you sighing, my lord? Ah, Sir Enciods. <laughs> well, you caught me in something of a pickle. I'm the one organizing this banquet, but I can't quite find a drink fit for the two illustrious guests such as you. While working over that, I recalled a fine vintage in my collection back home. Give me a twinge of homesickness. I'm afraid I don't know where exactly you are. A Viscount of... County Bar. If I recall correctly, County Bar is not too far from Toron. Indeed! They tend to follow the same trails. Have done so for quite a while now. If that is the case, then you and I were fated to meet, Lord Viscount. I lived in Toron for some time. That's right. I feel like we might have met at some banquet or other back in the day. If only we had recalled this forgotten connection of ours sooner, and Sir Enciodes, we wouldn't have have had to be at each other's throats. Indeed. If I had known that you were such an interesting man, I think I would have made fast friends, my lord. I have met with many noble here in Cherig, but I believe that you might be the first to get homesick at the thought of some wine. <laughs> would it be remiss for me to assume that my lord has a family man? Eh, if my daughter heard those words, she would most likely die from laughter. In her eyes, I'm the most worthless father across all the lands. Relations always have a different view of things to outsiders. You're right, every family has its own issues. I'm afraid that I have no solution to your longing for count the county bar. But I do have the means to make you feel at home here. Oh? Oh, right, it's him, Matterhorn. My lord, please accept this as a token of my master's regard. Oh, it's the wine. This is Snow Realm Spring 1072. I heard that other than the Snow, Ring, Snow Realm Spring batch that started distilling in the 90s, there were even rare bottles in the batches from the 70s. You're saying this is the real deal? Cherig's first distillery was established under my father's auspice. But after his passing in an unfortunate accident, his output to essentially stopped. I revived it after the founding of the Carlin trade. Thanks to our outdated aging techniques, most of the stuff from the 70s is completely undrinkable these days. But a few bottles from that era still survive. They were labeled as 1070s, and what few existed were kept in the silver ash. Oh, wow. He kept that in the cellar for that long? What you see before you is from that collection. Wow. Just from the hint of fragrance coming from the mouth of the bottle, I can already tell that it'll drive Victoria's greatest sommeliers wild. This is a mighty fine drink. If I drank any of this, forget about feeling at home. I'd want to stay in Cherrick for another three years. If that is ever your desire, then of course we will welcome you with open arms. Not scared of a Victorian soldier, Sir Enciodes? If every Victorian soldier is as reasonable a man as you, what do I have to fear? I'm afraid you might have some misunderstandings about me, sir, good sir. Then it is natural for me to wish up, wish to clear up those misunderstandings. Come, let us sit and discuss them. Ah, well, the saintess hasn't arrived yet, so should we really be sitting? Ah, the great saintess is quite occupied with various affairs at the moment. There's no need to trouble her over this. Uh, it is as he says, were I not here, there would be nothing for with the two of you sitting down to chat. It'd be clear that my approval in the end to Tony How. Is that not right, Sir Enciodes? The siblings. Great Saintus, I'm honored that you have deigned to grace this banquet with your presence. It's been quite some time since you first set foot in Cherig, Lord Viscount. In that time, I've heard of the goodwill that you've shown Cherig, and I had plans myself to reach out to you for our own little chat. Today is as good as any opportunity as any other. Today is as good an opportunity as any other. It has been a while, Saintus. Serencius, you still have not answered my question. The Saintus is correct. It's just that you are the spiritual leader of all Cherig's people, after all. Every day you, <laughs> you must hear the hopes and prayers of supplicants and keep their faith in Cherigander in their hearts. Nowadays, all the nations of Terra have heard tell of her, and one by one they set eyes on her, too. Uh, this, too, is yet another matter that occupies your attention. There's no need for you to personally attend this mundane matters of the nation. You tell a good joke, Sir Enciodes. 
The reason why Terragondor attracts more and more attention is from the outside world is in fact because we take note of our people's hopes and prayers, and that we can work to get towards a better life for all of them. That being the case, it means that there is no such thing as a mundane matter of the nation. <laughs> it need only be a matter of concern to the people to be a matter of concern to me. I am sure that you would understand this simple reasoning of mine, Sir Encios. I understand this point. As a good friend of mine once counseled me, whether in family matters or matters of state, if you keep if you try to grasp everything at play, it will oftentimes not go as you planned. And as a good friend once counseled me, whether in family matters or matters of the state, even if you cannot attend to every per thing personally, you must see things through your own eyes and do things with your own hands at least once. Do you hold family matters in your heart, Sir Encios, or matters of state? <laughs> what is that you wish to see, Great Saintus? What is it you wish to do? Ah, Great Saintus. Just before you arrive, Sir Encios gets me a bottle of liquor. Oh? Snow Realm Springs 1072. The drink's so fine, it's only a flaw is that it will upstage the main dish. Here's my gift to you. Are you afraid that it might steal your thunder as your host? As the host? Oh, hardly, hardly. While I am the host, I can't really call myself the lord of this place, can I? I could say that Saintus herself would be considered the star of the evening. Seems I have overset my bounds. If I may, Saintus, I have a proposal. Go ahead. I think we should use this bottle of 1072 as a drink for tonight's meal. What do you think? What say you, Sir Ancioids? In 1072? No, 1072 is better. When our father placed these bottles in our cellar, he believed that Cherry Spring was just around the corner. But even after waiting for more than 20 years, our spring still not yet truly arrived. Now, if this bottle were a signal of the opportunity before us, that would truly be a wonderful thing. Elegant as ever, Sir Enciodes. Now that the matter's settled, Char? Yes, Saintus? Take this bottle to the kitchen, if you would. At once, say At once, Saintus. Is that to your satisfaction, my lord? Oh, I don't know what I just did. Well, since our guest of honor has arrived, uh, let's get this banquet started. Please, have a seat. Well, my fortune-telling isn't always right. Sometimes there's a lot of external noise that affects the outcome. Oh, shut up. Nice. Oh, and the next one is just story. Okay. I'm going to have to leave that for the next one, though. I have been recording for too long, and this video won't go out in time, no matter what I do. Um, That was a lot of fun. I got a lot of stuff done, and I unlocked Harold. Seem guests from afar. Yes, Five star I healer. Finally given me hard labor on the borders. I wonder if the Empire is deigning to smile on me. Uh, where are my manners? You then should be my commanding officer from here on. I render you my services as a plain medical officer. I render my services as a plain medical officer. Okay. That's it for me today, Doctor. though. You know how busy your schedule is today, Shh. yes? Don't do it again. Um, I had a lot of fun. I had to farm up enough to make Degenbrecker strong enough to kill the mages. But once those were taken care of, I kind of just beat it pretty easily. It is annoying that those enemies hit so hard, though. Like, there was nothing I could really do about it. If I... <sighs> Ooh, sorry. If I had an AoE, maybe if I didn't have Jessica and I had an AoE instead, I could have beaten it with three stars, but I don't know right now. So, um, we still don't know what's really going on. Rosalind finally met her father and her father doesn't even know. He's kind of dumb, apparently, and drunk. Uh, and her grandfather, I guess. <laughs> um... We didn't see Degenbrecker in this one, did we? I don't think Sleep. we did. No one will bother you. Okay. Um. Yeah, and then for Sarencios and the Saintus, they got together for the for a banquet, and that's really it. <laughs> um, they're unsure as to why Rosalind is still very important, 
I assume it's Trilby Asher is the guard that is with them. Um, other than that, that's really it. Uh, so, if you like this video, like and subscribe. I'd love to keep having you around. Keep you around. I keep trying wanting to say that. Um, but other than that, you better have a good night. And bye-bye.